Lab 29 is on fossil footprints and what we're gonna do is use this paper that has a bunch of mine and my boys footprints on it from years ago Owen was the little baby in orange and then Derek and I did the other colors okay and what we're gonna do is we are going to look at each color and try to figure out what they did okay so this is a long piece of paper and hopefully you'll be able to figure this out from this all right so what I'm gonna do is slowly take a walk through this so you can see that there's various footprints the reason I'm doing this is because we find much of our information about animals that lived in the past from their footprints like dinosaur footprints and stuff like that we can tell a lot about them other things we can tell about them are from you know like worms make little holes in the ground and and various things these are all called trace fossils poop is also trace fossils sometimes poop can be fossilized okay so what we have with this are some people footprints and we're going to try to interpret things from them I'm going to go through the colors, okay, so that you can kind of see what was happening here. So let's start with blue. I'll try to go alphabetical here. So there's a footprint. There's another footprint. There's another one. And another one. Notice we're going left, right, left, right. So, just as a simple interpretation, blue was just walking. Okay? So next, um, I'm going to try to go alphabetical if I can think about this. Next would be green. Okay, there's two green footprints there. There's two green footprints there. Two green footprints there. Two there. You get to see a pattern. What is green doing? Okay, so you'll try to figure out what green is doing. Okay. Let's see. Next in the color list, blue, green, purple. Okay, here's purple. Okay, that's a right foot. We go past a couple blue, and there's the left foot of the purple. One. One blue, two blue. There's the next purple, a right foot. One, two, three blue, and then another left foot, purple. Okay? So, when there were about ten blue feet, there were only like four purple feet. So what would make those purple feet be way more spaced out than the blue? Think about that. Okay, next on our list should be orange. Okay, orange is doing something the others were doing. It's just the fact that it's a baby. Okay, little tiny footprints. Owen was like three. Okay, maybe even two. So, I know his paint is fading here, so he was just walking, okay? That's all he could handle at that age, all right? So, it, you could say baby walk for that one. Okay. We did blue, we did green, we got red, okay? Red and yellow to go. Okay, red is facing that way. That's a right foot facing to the left, there's a left foot facing to the right. Notice the smear up by the toes. This one, they're right next to each other. And once again, there's some smearing up by the toes. That's right foot facing left and left foot facing right again with a little smearing. 
Okay, this one's really got a whole bunch of smear spinning stuff. Okay, oops, almost kind of gave it away there. Okay. All right, so you try to figure that out. All right. Maybe you can get a long view of the red. Might make a little more sense. So. Got to remember here that, like, the person would be facing to the right on this first footprint and they're facing to the right or left on the other and then right and then left and then facing right and facing left. So how does that happen? Okay, now yellow is a faint color, but we'll try to do that. We noticed one of those feet looks really weird, doesn't it? What is that? Hopefully you should know. Okay, so we got hand and a foot, hand, hand and a foot, hand and a foot, I'll give you a hint, your answer should have a number in it, okay? So now the next thing you try to do is figure out what order they happened, okay? That's going to be a little tough, all right? When we do this, it looks as though we got some blue paint right on top of some green paint here. Okay, so what's that going to tell us? Okay, and you got a red and a blue mix there. And then you got some yellow. Okay. Purple, can't really tell right there. Okay, here's where you pretty much have all the colors at once. And you kind of study that and see if you can figure out what order they all were. I know that's kind of crazy. I won't mark you off too badly if you miss it, all right? Some more mixing ones. All right, this is much like better to do in person but we're gonna just try just try your best that's all i ever ask out of you guys is try your best okay good luck well good luck with that i'm ready bro